Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different today than what I normally do. Um, so, something that I found to be pretty interesting and hard to figure out was, is how do I get a nice picture when I, I record my tutorials, and how do I get good quality sound along with the picture? So, I've been doing some research, and I'm going to share what I found out with the rest of you. So, if you want to do tutorials or videos too, uh, you'll know how to do it and get a nice picture and uh, clear audio uh, with your picture. So, um, first thing you want to do is uh, check out the software. Um, the software that I, I'm going to actually demo is called ScreenFlow. So, we're going to go to ScreenFlow. So, just type in ScreenFlow in Google, and you'll see it up here showing at the top click on it and there's a free trial or you can buy it you can buy it for I think it's a hundred bucks yeah you can get it for a hundred dollars uh, it's worth it it's probably one of the better uh, screen capturing softwares uh, that you can you can purchase um, another nice one is screenium uh, but I, I tried both of them and I really like the screen flow so anyway you can get the free trial or you can buy it um, so check it out uh, so the next thing you're going to need is if you're using a, a FireWire audio interface like I am, I'm using a, a Mark of the Unicorn 896 HD. And the issue that I have is, is that all my sound, um, when I have um, Logic instruments and stuff, uh, Logic running, all my internal instruments and everything are coming through the Mutu. And that's giving me more audio tracks inside of Logic. Uh, so every time I try to record my audio, um, I wouldn't be able to do what I normally would do because the screen capturing software I was using um, wouldn't allow it to happen. So there's actually another bit of software you need to get, and it's called Wiretap. So Wiretap is the software. So click on the link once you type in Wiretap in Google from Ambrosia. Um, you can download a free trial of it here, and that's exactly what I did to test it out before I bought it. Um, so basically what it does is it allows you to take the sound from the Mutu or whatever external device you have and route the sound that, that's coming through the Mutu back into the computer um, and recording it with the screen capturing. So what you get is crystal clear audio along with a nice picture that pretty much explains to your audience what it is you're trying to show them. So um, I thought this was pretty hard to figure out and it took me a little while to figure it out and I finally figured it out so I thought I would share that um, bit of advice with everyone to let them know how to do this just in case they decide they want to make tutorials too for YouTube or some other sites or whatever. So what you want to do is go ahead and download it, either purchase it um, or download it. So I, I downloaded the Wiretap Studio right here is what I is what I tried the free version um, so go ahead and download it once you download it um, this software actually right here I believe is not compatible with OSX Lion uh, or 10.7 or OSX Mountain Lion 10.8 um, so I haven't upgraded mine, so it, it's going to work fine. Anyway, so just click on the download Wiretap Studio here, and then it'll start to download. Once it downloads, um, just go to your Downloads folder. You can just type Downloads here. And then open up your folder, and inside of your folder is where it'll be. Um, and then just look for the software. Uh, dot DMG. Anyway, once you install it, you'll install both of them. So go ahead and install, install ScreenFlow and go ahead and open up ScreenFlow and just once you installed Wiretap, open up ScreenFlow and go, you can actually just come up here and I'm not going to actually stop recording, I'm just going to pause. So, let's see if we can do new, yeah, 
once they come up here. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it. Okay, so let's go to the wiretap. So in wiretap, um, what you have here is you have these one item, two items here. Um, normally when you get, you just have this first system audio, but you wanna go ahead and just add another system audio or another audio. So just click on the plus and it'll automatically insert it and it's already highlighted blue, so hit backspace and give it a name, test. Then what you wanna do is click on settings. So it's already sees that, it already sees that I have um, this current configuration here. But if you look at this configuration at the top, you can see that uh, I have a Mutu, I have recording tutorials, and then I have down here ScreenFlow and Logic Pro. So what you can do is you can actually come in here and you can add in, you can come down to here settings, and down at the bottom where it says add sources, click on that, and then, so I'm gonna select my, um, let's see, where's that, ScreenFlow, so I'm going to add that in. Boom. I've added that in. Next thing I'm going to add in is Mutu 896 HD. Okay. And I actually, I want the 896 HD to be first. So let me go ahead and add in the screen flow. And it's automatically routing the wires here, as you can see, for you, right? So it's already doing that for me. Um, and there's one other one I need to add in. Let's go back and look at this. Let me save this real quick. Change the name here to GR Test. Okay. Let's go back up here. So we've got the Mutu, ScreenFlow, oh, and Logic. So we need to add Logic. So that's the one I need to add in here. So basically, you're saying route all these audio um, sounds into Logic. I mean, into um, screen, uh, not screen, but wiretap. So now we need to add in logic. So let's see, open another application. And then we need to navigate to where logic is. Let's see if I can find logic here. Logic Pro, boom. Say open. Now it's going to have logic at the bottom. So that's perfect. Um, go ahead and hit save. All right, so you can see now that I've got sound actually coming through through this device here. You can see it. Now, if you notice, it's only one side going right now. Um, I want to have both sides actually going, so I want to go ahead and open that back up. And I think it's the right side that's transmitting, so all I'm doing is I'm dra dragging this plus over, and now you see left and right's working. See that little green light's flickering here? So now I save it. Now if I go back up here at the top, now I have both of them coming through. And that's perfect. That's exactly how I want it to be. So at this point, our wiretap is set up. Um, so we don't need to do anything else with this. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Logic Pro 9. Launch Logic Pro 9. Now again, when, you, when you're setting up in um, a wiretap, when you're setting up your wiretap stuff, you wanna actually pick in all add sources. You wanna just navigate to whatever it is you're using for your FireWire audio interface. So whatever that may be. I just wanted to point that out real quick. Okay, so Logic is here, it's open. I'm gonna go to my template. So there's one little thing we need to do in here. Okay, we're just um, trying to do a quick little setup here. Uh, I'm loading up a, a demo track that I have. Okay, so real quick in here.
go to logic, go to preferences, go to audio. Down here where it says input device, you're going to select, um, it would be, uh, let's see right here, it'd be your test. I put in GR test, that was mine, but I'm going to leave it on the wiretap recordings tutorial, but it would be whichever one you wanted. So it's going to show up in here as an input, you just select it. I'm using my recording tutorials as my input, I'm not going to change it. And then once you select it, yours will actually have your new name here. Um, so your output is going to be the Mutu or whatever it is you're using for the FireWire. In my case, it's the Mutu 896HD. Input devices, wiretap, and then whatever name you gave the device. And then just hit Apply Changes. Go ahead and close that out. Go to System Preferences. Go to click on the Apple or scroll to the Apple System Preferences. Go to Sound. Output will be 896HD. Input will also be 896HD. And you can see <laughs> that it's working. Okay. So the next thing you want to do, and I don't know if it's going to let me do this in tutorial mode with, with screen flow. Um, it probably won't, but let's see if it will. Insert. It's going to let me do it. Okay, so it might not let me do it, but it's really just one little quick configuration. Uh, let me see if I can find something that actually will show you how to do that. Hang on a second here. Yeah, so this little box right here is what I really want to show you. See if I can get a bigger picture so you can see it. Okay, yeah, so this is perfect. So what you want to do is when you're using ScreenFlow, you'll see this box when you start to record. You just want to come in here um, and click this checkbox here and then select your FireWire device. Mine, in, in my particular case, is the Motu A96HG. So I would click on this and I'd see it in there and I'd select it. Once you do that, you'll see your microphone clipping through here and then you just hit the record button and it'll start to record your... Um, your video with your audio and everything will look out, you know, will look and sound really good. So, um, and we can go ahead and uh, let's see. So everything I do right now on the screen is, is being recorded and will play back. So I'm going to go ahead and play this track so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Still talking, you can still hear me. Two, 
filter right now. Okay, so I think you guys get the idea of how screen flow and wiretap works together pretty nicely. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this video, uh, please let me know. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more cool, helpful videos from Dance Music Tutorials.